Yeah, don't click back. Don't check out of this message. It's a powerful message that will transform your life. The word of the Lord is coming from the mouth of his servant. Sit back as you listen to the word of the Lord and also subscribe to this. Number five, what is the fifth biblical strategy when you are in a season of adversity of any kind? Engage the prophetic. Engage the prophetic. Engage the prophetic. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. Hosea 12 and verse 13. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. One more time. And by a prophet, the Lord. It was the Lord that did the deliverance, but he used a prophet. And by a prophet was he preserved. Every time believers went through seasons of adversity, seasons of affliction and tragedy, midwifing their breakthrough were the ministry of prophets. Is it the exodus of Israel from Egypt? Is it the axe head floating in 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 1 to 7? Hallelujah. Is it the wife of the Shunammite? Uh, I mean, the, 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 the wife of the sons of the prophet? Is it the Shunammite woman? Is it the widow in Zarephath? You can name all of these people. Is it Samaria, the land of Samaria going through famine? Every time there was affliction, a negative season, whether to people, whether to nations, whether to businesses, affliction can never turn to victory, isolating the prophetic genuine authentic apostolic and prophetic ministry has a role to turn people's captivity around it is a mandate and a mantle that god has placed listen to me let me assure you god has anointed men god has laid his hand upon men men that if you believe and open up your heart to receive of the spiritual investment in their life i guarantee you like night becomes day affliction can turn to victory right before your eyes the prophetic is a potent ministry in spite of abuses when i say the prophetic is a combination of the apostolic and the prophetic yes there are abuses across the globe yes we hope that god especially in africa will fix some of these excesses and these mistakes here and there but do not make a mistake of throwing the baby and the bath water the, Jesus needed three major prophets in his life to emerge. One, Simon of Cyrene. Two, Anna the prophetess. Three, John the Baptist. Jesus as the word. You ignore the prophetic, especially in the times of adversity. You do that to your detriment. One, prophetic declarations. Do you know? I've told you, when I sit back and I watch people share testimonies, you would think that because God used me to birth this testimony and this has happened so frequently, I should be used to it. Sometimes I stand as a spectator and I'm watching the wonder-working power of God that with one utterance, backed up by the anointing of the Spirit, like that which will come upon someone this night, in the name of Jesus, that you'll see doors just like that. Because, listen... The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. He confirmed the words of his messengers. One prophet stands over Samaria and says, by this time tomorrow. He was not speaking to a company. He was not speaking to a region. He was speaking to a whole nation. And a foolish advisor stood by the king and said, no, this cannot happen. Let me tell you the truth. Be careful what you say cannot happen. The kingdom of God is a compendium of infinite possibilities waiting for you to engage with understanding. And one of it, I assure you, is the prophetic. I have watched with all humility people rise from grass to grace by the, at the instance of the prophetic. I am a beneficiary of the prophetic myself. speak and doors just open oh let it be well with you let doors be open and that's it i'm telling you it is it's still a wonder how the prophetic works that one declaration and the spirit of wisdom moves in motion and even if it is four lepers the holy ghost will begin to arrange insignificant conditions that insist and ensure that you come out of that situation